All right, let's do this. The Santa Blanca Cocaine Superhighway. Every year, more than 350 tons of coke leaves Bolivia, reaching about 20 million users worldwide. That means they're pulling in an average of $2 billion a week. How do they do it? Three little words. Air, land, sea. All coordinated by the head of smuggling, Nidia Flores. La Reina de Belleza. The beauty queen. And her right-hand man, the ravishing, the bewitching, the delectable, El Boquita. Ouch. Somebody get that guy a band-aid. The problem is, you see these guys on the news, you see decapitations, you see monsters, but you don't see the whole picture. These people are fucking geniuses. Case in point, you see tits, Nydia Flores sees opportunity. You see scrap metal, Nydia Flores sees submarines. You see holy water, Nydia Flores sees liquid cocaine. Because Nydia Flores is a fucking genius. You really want to shut down the cocaine superhighway? Hit the drugs, hit the money, then hit the beauty queen. Her Santissima Muerte so loved the Santa Blanca cartel that she gave us her only begotten daughter, that whoever believeth in her should not perish, but have everlasting life. Many years ago, we were in trouble, in la desesperación, on the verge of extinction, being torn to pieces by the snakes and ratas. I believed that hope was lost, that it was too late for us. Era el fin. But just when I was ready to give up, it happened. Nidia Flores came forth, known to us as la reina de belleza, the beauty queen. And with her, she brought prosperity, wealth, and retribution. We feel her charity, su amor, deep in our hearts. As she continues to spread her gospel across the world, to every corner of the globe, praise to Saint Nidia, Queen of Queens, Reina de Reinas, Goddess among mongrels. No more excuses. We want our fucking money ahora. Nidia will take care of this. Sueño, do we need to make a change here? Nidia has been one of our best people for years. Maybe too many. Maybe she's lost her edge. Over time, I have seen many buchones come and go. When you're king, you learn to lose a few nights. But Nidia Flores was different. I had taken her under my wing from a young age. She was the closest thing I would ever have to a daughter. She was my reina. If I fed her to the wolves, a part of me would die with her. You'll get your money, se lo juro. I guarantee it. Don't make us regret this. Sostén tu palabra. What's his name? He's a doll, Theo. He doesn't have one. You have to be alive to have a name. See, si, I imagine that's true. Nidia, mi reina. Yes, mi rey. You know this expression. I love you more than life. Claro, of course. I love you, my queen. But not more than life. Nidia Flores was in trouble, and she knew it. It wasn't just the drugs that were being attacked. It was the money, La Bronca. Money that was supposed to have gone to our investors in Mexico, and never made it. What are you gonna do? 
No excuses, no rationalizations, no nothing. Evia knew she had to find the solution before the solution found her. Here's a lesson in cocaineonomics. The biggest mistake most people make is focusing solely on the product. Claro, you need something to sell, but that's not where you make the money. One kilo of coca leaves costs about a dollar fifty. It takes 400 kilos of coca leaves to make one kilo of cocaine. Even when turned into cocaine base, a kilo is only worth 1,200 in Bolivia. However, every time you cross a border, the value increases. Once we reach Colombia, it's already 2,200. We hit southern Mexico, 12,000. Cross the border into Texas, 20,000. New York City, our $1,200 investment is now worth 35,000. Paris, London, 68 to 74,000. It's a pipeline that carries the product to the people that need it. Sustenance for the thirsty. Once in place, the pipeline feeds itself. Workers, vehicles, wages, bribes. But when there's a clog in the pipe... Uh, they took out another shipment. We lost seven tons last week. Four planes the week before. The water backs up. There's too much surplus. We can't keep it secure. My men are selling to each other. We can't pay people if they're not moving product. They're kidnapping civilians for ransom money. Too much water. We have to take Valeria and go. He'll kill us before we leave the country. Then what's the answer? When I find it, I'll let you know. And you drown. Nidia finally had the answer to her problems. A convoy. The investors in Mexico wanted their money. This whole time she had been trying to sneak it out to them. Why sneak when we can force it through? Reinforced armor, heavily armed, multiple trucks, helicopter patrols, carrying 17 billion dollars. Mira, you can't be serious. If we lose that money, it's over. But when we're killed, what happens to Valeria? There is no other way. No, Reina, we're not doing it. Ay, boquita, corazón. I'm not asking. I'm telling. And who do you expect to lead this convoy? You're the only man I trust with something this important. But what if I don't make it back? I would never let that happen. The beauty queen failed. In total, she lost more than 17 billion dollars. Nidia knew she was in danger. She needed more time. She needed someone to blame. She needed to make a sacrifice. I'm so sorry, baby. For you, Mirei. But it wasn't enough. You fucked up, Mirena. I gave her a head start. Because I loved La Reina de Belleza. But in Bolivia, love doesn't get you very far. My trafficking network was dismantled. No more cocaine came in. No more money went out. The drugs that remained lay there wrapped in cellophane, rotting away, becoming worthless. My men wondered where their next payout was going to come from. I had spent years building these routes. Billions of dollars in manpower, transportation, relationships, all gone. Including the beauty queen. I gave Nidia Flores everything, and she paid me back by running like a coward, instead of dying like royalty. Now she would spend the rest of her life serving the Americans. She killed her child's father for nothing. Isn't it amazing? You remove a few buchones, and the machine falls to pieces.